喺呢段病人资料片入面，我哋将会睇到 Tyron h a t t o n Jones 由被诊断前十字韧带撕裂到接受治疗，最后重返体育活动嘅整个过程。佢将会接受江志聪医生嘅治疗。我哋都会睇到陈慧杰医生诊治病人，佢哋两位系亚洲专科医生膝关节小组嘅外科医生。韧带系连接两块骨头嘅纤维大状组织。通常横跨关节，佢系关节嘅基本稳定发展，既坚韧又稳固，但亦都有弹性，令到关节可以喐动，可以有效咁吸收冲击力同劳损。前十字韧带又叫做 ACL， 系膝关节四大韧带之一，连同后十字韧带共同支撑股骨同胫骨之间嘅连接。呢两条韧带响膝关节上彼此交叉，所以又称为十字韧带。膝关节内嘅其他主要部分系软骨，软骨位于骨骼嘅两端，表面好似二结和面层一样，可以协助骨骼之间顺畅咁运动，同时吸收大量冲击力。而半月板就系包围胫骨顶部嘅杯形软骨。前十字韧带嘅主要作用系令膝关节响旋转运动中，几乎伸直嘅状态下控制膝关节。涉及前十字韧带最常见嘅动作系突然中止或侧向踏步，例如跑紧嘅时候改变方向。其实几乎凡系涉及膝关节动作，都同前十字韧带密不可分。前十字韧带对旋转运动嘅稳定能力，嚟自佢本身嘅结构。两条分开但系互相缠绕嘅束带，可以为膝关节提供抗扭强度。呢两条束带叫做前内侧束 A.M. 同后外侧束 P.L. 采用双足修复术嘅时候会被个别重建，同传统嘅单足前十字韧带重建相比，双足重建能够准确重现前十字韧带嘅结构，给予修复后嘅膝关节有更高嘅稳定性。Um, as soon as I hit the floor, I, my knee twisted in, twisted out. I heard a, quite a severe pop. Um, felt pain, but nothing, nothing too serious at that point. Um, and I realised that I'd definitely done some damage when, when I tried to get up. I was jumping to contest the ball. I stuck my right leg out to sort of kick the ball out of the air. My, both my feet were off the ground. Uh, someone came in from the side and caught me. I think it was with his foot, just on the outside of my right knee. So my left foot didn't touch the ball, but it hit the ball on the ground. So my left foot fell on the ground. Unfortunately for me, it's the third time that I've um, torn my ACL. So I actually pretty much knew what it was straight away when it happened. I really thought I fell down, tripped over something, and tried to get back up, but I couldn't. I didn't hear any popping sound or cracking sound. But at that point, I mean, it was hugely swollen. You could see it had just gone wham. Even with the ice, it was probably about twice the size of what a knee should be. So、um, I knew it was something relatively big. So, actually, the doctors and the police are saying, "Don't take it out. Get out of here." Then, after that, I didn't make it. I came home. Next day, I woke up and my knee was swollen. It was two times as big as it was at least. It was in the hospital there. そちらの上海なんですけれどもそこの病院にまず行きましたで専門のドクターがいらっしゃらなかったようなのでまずジェネラルドクターの方にかかってでそこで、まあ、レントゲンと MRI です。所以当时我就觉得好没有问题你练武术练这么久你出现过很多问题受过很多伤这一次可能也会不是很大的一个问题，你可以你可以克服过来。Waited for for a couple of months until the new season started and、um, tried to go back onto court again and realised obviously then that I、uh, the knee was was out of commission. And any sort of pivoting motion was was very painful. Any any jumping on the knee was quite painful. Any sudden movements. Um, again, quite painful. Okay, now relax the hamstring, and then the、uh, this anterior jaw test. We can see that the um, uh, your knee is unstable, and the, your shin bone is moving excessively to the front. Okay, now keep、okay, relax. And the second is the alignment test, and again the.、Uh, 
we can see that the um, the A cell is loose. Now this is a uh, we call it pupil shift test. Um, uh, this test is very specific for the ACL problem, so I can feel the um, jerky motion of the knee. So basically, uh, your knee is jumping out and in, yeah. so that the uh, all the tests are positive. He pretty much on examination said to me, "I think you've ruptured the ACL, and um, we need to do an MRI." So I came for an MRI here as well. Um, and I was as shocked as anybody when the results came back within a couple of days and they said it was a complete tear of the ACL. Now ACL is, the, uh, is a ligament uh, sitting in the middle or the centre of the joint that connect your thigh bone and shin bone. Um, this is the MRI of your knee. Uh, this is in the front, this kneecap in the front, uh, the thigh bone and shin bone. Now, um, this is your, um, the damaged ACL. Normally, we should see uh, a very nice ligament in this position. And meniscus damage, everything else is okay? Now, the black triangle here is your meniscus. It's normal in appearance. We need to uh, check the meniscus again by the arthroscopy because sometimes the MRI may not be able to demonstrate minor injury of meniscus. 半月板软骨向膝关节周围分散嚟自股骨嘅负荷，响前十字韧带受伤嘅时候，随住前十字韧带移位同股骨嘅喐动，半月板软骨通常都会事。So how's your knee? Um, right now I still have some clicking on my knee.、Mm. Where is exactly the click? It's on the outside of my knee.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. And other than click, does it hurt? Um, right, a little bit when little I do full squat. And、uh, what about when you do exercise? Um, if I push it hard, then、uh, I will feel a little bit discomfort.、Mm -hmm. Have you ever come across locking or swelling? Only some clicking. Clicking yeah. only. Yeah. Okay. Victor, I'm going to palpate around your knee. Let、mm -hmm. me know if it hurts. Okay. It's fine right over there. No, yeah. There. Okay. What about the outer joint line?、Uh, a little bit. A little bit.、Yeah. Right. And then、uh, I'm going to perform the memory test. It may hurt a bit, and、okay. let me know, okay? Okay. Okay. I feel some clicking in there.、Mm. And、yeah. does it hurt? A little bit. Yes.、Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do the abdominal grinding test.、Mm. Does it hurt?、Uh, it's okay. It's no pain, right? Yeah. Your medial meniscus is all right. A little bit of、uh, discomfort there. A little bit pain. Uh huh. So again, this sign is positive, which is suggestive of a、uh, outer meniscal tear. Victor, here is the set of MRI of your right knee. Here is the inner side, while there is your outer side. The bright signal there, which signify there is a tear in your outer meniscus, and while in the inner side, it appears black. Which is normal. In terms, what exactly is a meniscus? Okay, here is the、uh, knee model, okay, and、um, this is the end of your thigh bone, and here is your top end of the shin bone. The white here, the lunar shape, is the outer meniscus. It serves、uh, to provide conformity around your knee. And it acts as a shock absorbent to share the load around your knee.、Um, what's the treatment going to be like? Because you are young, active, and、uh, the it causes you now、uh, problems such as a click, the pain, and occasional locking. So I suggest is a keyhole surgery to get it repaired.、Um, is there like another option like other than surgery? If you leave it untreated, the tear may get bigger and cause you more trouble, and your knee may end up with early osteoarthritis. Then I was given the choice of three different things. That was leave it and do nothing,、um, have physio and try and strengthen the leg enough to be able to return to some, but not all sport, or have the surgery. 
and more than likely be able to return to any sport I liked. He explained you know, what the ACL did, why I need it, how it's relevant for me in terms of twisting and turning and playing sport. And I do play quite a lot of sport. I play golf, I play tennis, I play football, and they're just the ones that involve twisting on the knee. From the story you told me and also my feeling on your knee in examination, uh, the damage should be quite severe and that should be our, we call the complete tear. You have options. Okay, now the first option is um, surgery, it means that they uh, give you a new ligament, namely the ACL reconstruction, okay. so make your knee stable again. The second option is that the, uh, uh, you go through uh, physiotherapy, so basically you have a strengthening program to compensate for this instability, but that will not be complete, okay, and then you have to be a little bit uh, quite cautious about your exercise. Um, say uh, you should avoid the pivoting exercise. Okay, so if I, if I do not have the surgery then the sports that I choose to play I can't? Um, it's not recommended okay. because uh, you get injury again and again. At the end you may end up with uh, quite obvious arthritis in long term. Okay. I've, I've not ever had an operation before, but I certainly didn't want to stop playing sports already. Uh, and so I booked in. So he was very clear, he was very clear to tell me uh,我们会有,会要做一个手术,是非常,是一定要做这个手术。因为如果你想继续做你的工作,特别是你的这个比较强度比较大的,嗯,要求对膝关节要求比较大的一些工作。Uh, no, most likely you need the uh, ACL reconstruction. But that if we find something else, like the meniscus damages, then we're going to fix it by a standard meniscus repair. So basically we fix all the problem in one goal.